please consider joining us on our website. You'll have access to Interesting Minds, Rhyme Series, and a tutorial so you can see how I do it. I can't guarantee you'll figure it out, but I will teach you how I see people. So here we have the four Democrats who are their own committee, I guess. I don't know what they are. We, we know that the DNC is not the DNC anymore. There are fractions and factions of different individuals and entities all fighting for power. And this one seems to be the face of the entire DNC. So while we look at this, we're going to see who the boss is, who really is the leader, who wants to be the leader, who's jealous, you know, those fun things. Well, first, I want to say a thank you to all of you for uh, being here today. And I want to send a message of gratitude and thanks to the solidarity that we have received from everyone. So I'm sitting there watching. We're not watching the red girl yet. She is the one speaking. And yes, from now on, we refer to them by their colors of the clothes. But we're looking at the other three who are much more well-known. Purple jacket lady is much more relaxed, whereas the other two have their hands clasped and they're standing quite still, much more worried about their place. They're worried about their looks. They're worried about how they look. And purple jacket girl doesn't really care that much. That doesn't that's not the forefront in her mind. It makes her status even higher as she is the boss. She's the one they look to. Message of gratitude and thanks to the solidarity that we have received from every corner of our country. From our colleagues to our neighbors, we are grateful for your solidarity, your encouragement, and your support in the face of the most recent xenophobic, bigoted remarks from the occupant of our White House. You see that movement with the head, it goes up and it comes down. It's like a almost almost robotic, but it's defiance with the words that she's stating. She has, she has strength at this podium with the words. Usually you have that strength when you know you have a group of people that are standing behind you that are supporting you. So we don't really know where her power stands at the moment. We know at the moment that the purple jacket is strength with the other two. And as we watch this, we should figure out, you know, where who really stands where. And it may actually be dual power, but we'll have to see. And given the size of this squad and this great nation, we cannot, we will not be silenced. So she talks about the size of this squad. And you have to think of it like fingers. Each member has fingers in different areas, which gives the mindset that your squad is bigger than it is. There's four of you, but each of you have other that you bring in. And that's what she's referring to, the size of the squad. Not actual people there standing with them wholeheartedly on everything, but the little individual fingers that they have from each other of control. So it could be when they do a protest, the protesters are one of their little fingers, and that could be really big. Those kind of things, those fingers. So it's not that they actually have power, but it's where the fingers can go. And now I'll invite Representative Omar to offer a few words as well. Okay, so Red just showed that she bows to Purple. As she walked away from the podium, the head goes down in a bow. So Purple has the power to Red. Thank you, Congress. And it looks like Red is subservient to all of them because they're all congratulating her. They're not, there's a difference. When you're the boss, it's a congratulation, but uh, I'm with you. Your strength gives me strength, body language. This one is, you did a good job, very good. I'm gonna give you strength to encourage you to do better. Stand up straight. It's time for us to impeach this president. So now um, we're going- So you see her give her look apparently to the next speaker and she smiles. Her head is not bowed to that individual. It's up straight. I'm going to have um, uh, Alexandria Ocasio, Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. And you notice how she didn't bow. Her head wasn't down to AOC, the girl in black. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, but she's the weaker one. You see how she likes to make herself small. She's always worried about how she looks and her presentation of herself. Whereas the stronger mind purple jacket doesn't have any of those issues. So when you have a group mentality, the one that is worried is always going to be the one that is not the boss. 
She may have status up there with the boss, but they're not the boss. I'll try to keep things as brief, I guess, as I can. But who knows when I get on a roll, right? So she looks over to the real boss, Purple Jacket, for reassurance. And with that, I'll hand it over to Rashida, please. Mm-hmm. Thank you so much. Thank. So then you see how that went with Girl in Black and Gold Jacket. And with that, I'll hand it over to whatever her name is. She had a hard time keeping eye contact with Gold Jacket. There is no warmth. There's no looking for approval with Gold Jacket. And without seeing more, you can sit there and say that there's possibly some friction there. They've had some rounds in the background between them, maybe about how to do things or what to say or anything. We have no idea. But the warmth that she has for her boss and for Red isn't there. Um, The president today said that many people agree with him and support these comments. I'm wondering if you can speak directly to those supporters of the president and explain why these comments are so harmful and hurtful. And on a personal note, if you can discuss the consequences and impact a bit of these comments. Have you had to up your security? Are you receiving increased threat? (laughs) This is like a lot of roosters. It's too many roosters. And she looked towards the boss. That's the boss. The boss is the purple jacket. It is now confirmed. From Human Omar in particular, but to all of you, can you respond to some of the president's specific claims, most notably that you're a communist and that you're pro Al Qaeda? You might have noticed how when he said, go back to where you came from, there was an uproar um, through the um, through all of our communities because every single person who's brown and black at some point in their life in this country heard that. Notice when she's asked a question, she doesn't look to anyone else for reassurance. What I'm looking for now, because we've established that Purple Jacket is the boss as if there is dueling for leadership. Now, when he made the comment, uh, I know that every single Muslim who has lived in this country and across the world has heard. That look that she gave to Gold Jacket was not a you're my boss moment or a reassurance. It was whatever has been spoke about in the back. Oh, yes, I talked to you about that. Oh, yes whatever it was. Some of you have made comments that the president took issue with uh, that were controversial. Do you think that some of those comments made, if they were inflammatory, if they were controversial, that this situation would be different? Because he specifically directed some of those same comments back at the court. It's actually interesting, too, to sit there and see how they stand. You got red and black standing pretty much closing in each other's distance and touching each other. You've got purple and gold separated but gold is trying to be gracious and giving space to purple you'll see that dynamic when you got somebody who's trying to cozy up to the boss in order to win the two that are loyal to the boss and then finally take over yes gold is trying to take over can you you repeat that the president took issue with some of the comments that some of you have made on a on a host of issues Mm -hmm. and turned them back around Mm -hmm. that's clear had those comments not been made whether they be controversial or not and you perceive them as being controversial do you think that that would make this situation different in other words he would have the firepower to turn it back around no i I will take this and i and there you go (laughs) more reaffirming (laughs) who's the boss sorry go ahead gold is yeah gold will be uh, fighting for that position eventually and she probably will win Because I don't think these three will see it coming. And then they'll drive the way that she wants to have it driven. But that's enough of this. We've now figured out who the boss is, who wants to be the boss, and who is never going to be the boss. If you like it, please share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.